Alright, this is what I try to do. I'm being funny. Make them, <laughs> I just want to make them mad for getting caught. You know, because you got caught. You got caught. This, this is just stupid. Like I said, they could have got away with it. I think they could have. That's just, just dumb. It ain't even jealousy. Like, oh, you just, you, no, nope. I wouldn't have tried that shit. That shit's stupid as hell. <laughs> you stupid. Then gifted it, record show. Days later, the required IRS forms. Look at it, the IRS forms. All they had to do was hire somebody. And where it came from. A recent New York Magazine story reported that an associate of BLM founder Patrice Cullors bought this mansion in Los Angeles for $5.8 million then gifted it, record show, days later, to a Delaware corporation hiding the real buyer, which was BLM, which leaked emails show... Got everything in my mama. <laughs> Damn stupid. I really thought they were smarter than this. I just, I, I was like, you know, that, and like I said, I would have no sympathy for anybody who gave them money. I don't care. Like, that's why I said, I say, keep, let them keep it. Except for I know they're not. And this ain't nothing new. This ain't old. They do any, ask any old folk. I bet you they could tell you that. They, 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 this, this is nothing new. They, they know people, you know, maybe church people. They, 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 they know shit like this. This ain't nothing new. Hell, yeah, they got Al Capone for, for tax evasion. You know, what the, 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 it all, our, the, Patrice and them colors and all that. Uh, it's my age, my generation. What was, what? They grew up watching that because that, that was VCR days, Untouchables. Remember? In the 80s. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew. Some of us knew how they got Al Capone before uh, that movie came out. And some of us, the adults, you know, your parents or whoever, your uncles, we all, everybody gathered. This is the 80s around the VCR to watch Untouchables. They all was like, yeah, that's how they got out before the end. They ruined the end if you didn't know. Tax evasion. That's how they got Al Capone. You know, then your grandparents, like I said, this is the 80s. They was alive during them days, you know. They was in their 20s. During the, you know, uh, whatever, they was uh, probably younger. But uh, my point is, everybody knows. You, 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 it's, it's like, that was like, how stupid. Can you you could have just hired somebody. Even if you're doing corrupt shit, you got that much money, you can hire somebody to do it for you, you know. And file your taxes and this and that and all the non-profit forms and but that much money I, I I'm pretty sure there was a way to buy that house. I think really with that much your salary just if you if you can raise hundreds of millions of dollars I think the government can't say anything about you paying yourself ten million a year. You it was your idea technically, you know. We don't know it's, it, it was the, the the elites, the new world order that they're working for them. You know, at this point, we don't have no proof. So technically, if you raise three hundred million dollars in one year, you could pay yourself twenty million dollars, and there's nothing they can do. That's that's uh, that's how it works. So they need. I, I think they need had to do all this shit. It's like they just want to do hood shit. You know, they don't want to do it the white, right way. Because, yeah, the white way. That would be white folks way. It, it's being white. You're being white. They, you know, they still got to be hood and black lives matter. You know, stick up for the fake thugs. Not even real thugs. A real thug bond, them, bond themselves out of jail. You already got money for a lawyer. You you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, call call my lawyer. You know, mama. Nobody you say that? Oh, they, mama, call my lawyer. You know when they when them, like say right here the cops dragging you away they coming to get you you got <laughs> you, you yelling back call my lawyer yo call my lawyer and then they, you know you mad because you know the cops just jealous and you know how do you I make more money than you in the fucking week you making a year yada yada you know all that shit you talking you know this this the eighties though but when people were smart that's what I'm talking about they you know eighties nineties. I'll decide. I'll be back out in an hour or two. He's telling the truth, really. But that's why I said, you notice everybody that got killed were either bums, you know, doing something stupid, high on drugs, like that dude in the Wendy's in, in Atlanta, Rashad Brooks. The cops was going to let him go. The Wendy's called the police because he was so high, he was nodding. That's what you call nodding. I guess he was on syrup. He kept falling asleep in the drive through line of people trying to get day food. They can't get around him, so they go around and they telling the people in Wendy's that he did do sleep. 
And really, he was up the street from his house. You know, it's just you got to teach yourself when you get high in the munches. After what he should have did, just took his little charge once because they let him go, but he couldn't drive. He, you know, he tried to drive off. They woke him up. They th and he, he fucked up, and that's when they like, oh, we got to arrest him. So that's when he got scared to start a fight. He should have just took his charge, got back. Yeah, he would have been out of ass load of money. You know, for the, the intoxicated charge, or then he got to get his car from the tow yard, all that shit. Some cops are cool. They would have let him uh, uh, call somebody to come get his car, maybe his sister's girl or mama, you know, sometimes. And, uh, you know, he, that's all he had to do, just learn a lesson. Like, you know what? Before I even get out, I'm gonna make sure I got food in the house so I won't get behind the wheel. <laughs> and, and you know, because there's another thing, what if you kill somebody? And that's a goddamn vehicular manslaughter. I can't shit. You know, driving while under the influence, all types of shit. You gotta think about all this shit. And so he started fighting and shit. And then, remember, he slammed. You, you see the video, he slammed one thing. He, that's how strong and high he was. He, he got that. Whatever drug he was on, he, he slammed the fuck out of two cops trying to get their guns. It's like, y'all like, first of all, you ain't had to do all that scary shit. Oh, you could just, just call somebody, you know, he could have been out in 12 hours or something like that, you know, however it worked. But what would have happened? That's all he had to do. But that's what I'm saying. That's why, you know, all it was mostly women sticking. Ah, and then, like I said, I was watching this other video. This this chick looked like she used to be fat, and so now she's you know she she she's more you know she lost her weight. But you can tell that she did it on her own, or maybe she got the surgery. I think she's a psychiatrist, but she's young too. She's like in her thirties, and you know, but you see she still got all the meat on her arms. You know, her face is all right, and the camera angle. But anyway, she's trying to sound smart. But she is educated. She's one of them liberals, libtards. You know, she's a psychologist. You know, probably went to HBCU or something. But anyway, so she's talking about, see, but she's getting angry. Her and the other woman. Matter of fact, they used to have, they had Judge Brown on their show. Now, it's not a TV, it's a YouTube channel. They're just talking to him. You know, she's down with him. He's he's trying to be one of the elders. But he was, uh, matter of fact, he disappointed me. Joe Brown, he uh he was down with the the mask and vaccination, and he was, he was saying it nasty too. The people that's vaccinated, they didn't want to be bothered with y'all unvaccinated, uneducated. You wouldn't get. I'm like, if I left a comment, I'm like, you a house nigga. I, I really didn't believe you. You know, seriously, I really didn't believe you sell out like this. And he's trying to say it like like black folks would say it. They don't want to be bothered with it. What do you mean bothered? They're vaccinated. That's like having a bulletproof vest, and I don't have one. So why would I not want to be bothered with you? I would jump behind you because you got a vest, you know? That's stupid. I mean, but literally, the vaccine protects you. So all the people that's vaccinated, this this is what, you know, like last year sometime. Like, how stupid? You're a judge. How stupid? I know you're not a scientist, but you don't have to be a scientist to know. If you got the vaccine and I don't, I'm the one that's in danger of getting sick, supposedly. Air quotes. Now all that shit is falling apart anyway. But, you know, they losing control, all that, and, you know, it's all fucked. But anyway, so so the, the bitch was like, uh, she's doing another episode on her YouTube channel, but it's, it's with this girl, she's supposed to be a psychiatrist. I mean, I think she is. And, but like I said, you could tell what her problem was and why she's with Black Lives Matter. But what it was, they're discussing, they're feeling like they're not getting nothing in return from black men for being in Black Lives Matter, you know, supporting that shit. We support it, y'all, and y'all don't support us. I think, you know, because they were seeing, this was last year when all them black women were getting jumped on. What's up? What's up? They were getting jumped on by uh, Asians at the hair salons and the nail salons. And y'all black men don't support us. But, but see, that's why the next time one of y'all get killed, we're not going to help you. We're not going to ride, or, you know, she ain't say ride, you know, protest. And we're like, bitch, you didn't pro do anything for us. You you were supporting criminals. You Those, those weren't black men. Don't, you know, there was never no dude, literally, I, there's never, in the last six years, seven, there was never no dude doo -doo, coming home 
All of them had shit on them. All of them got scared and started fighting. There's no dude if you if everything's straight. Even if you ain't got your insurance or license or whatever, there's no reason to, to, to think to start fighting. But all the rest of them, they started fighting. You know, get off me, you know, trying to juke them like the NFL players. You know, they, they think they're trying to get to this, uh, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the goal line you know juking juking uh you know defenders and shit they start trying to juke the cop and shit and once the cop try to put the handcuffs on they do that same little stupid move it is like and so it's like nah you know i don't know what you talking about see that next time and, and, and see that's why that's why i had been talking about i said it that video proved, like I said, they like, that's what they were really mad about because they couldn't shut us up. Like, well, see, wait until it happens to one of your family. It's not going to happen to more than nobody in my family. I know. I know all my cousins my age. We're all the same. First of all, they got jobs and careers, houses, big old houses. You know, I'm the only one, but it's because I'm on the program. But all that's over finna change. It's over. But I'm not doing that to catch up or, it, you know, make them mad. I wasn't mad at them at all. But anyway, still ain't. Like I said, I'm like, nah, that's not gonna happen. To us. Even if they was, like I said, our generation, we don't, we, we, we weren't brainwashed. Like I said, if you are doing something, you need to be having enough money, something that's worth the money, worth the time, worth your time, worth the risk. Taking pens, that's some, they, they stop all those phrases. Taking penitentiary chances, but you don't hear that no more. All they said, no, you was too harsh and abolished prison. That was, see, that don't make them, them little boys are mad. Having people tell you, because that's the same as even a legal business. You're not taking penitentiary chances, but you're taking the poorhouse being on the street chances when you're investing money or trying to start to be an entrepreneur. So you are taking kind of penitentiary chances. That's what I'm saying. This You're still being taught the way to risk versus reward. You might lose your wife. Your, <laughs> she going to take the kids. Then still put you on child support because of that dumb scheme you had. Now it's a scheme. At first it was a business venture. But you know women, she going to cut your heart off. <laughs> you know, it was that stupid scheme. Y'all got lost. Y'all lost the house and this and that. So it's the same level. You, you got to learn penitentiary chances. It's the same thing. <laughs> you know, because you know, niggas get mad. Like, you know, want to whoop somebody ass because you taking penitentiary chances and they doing stupid shit like speeding. You know, we like, oh, both of y'all in the car. Like, nigga, we taking penitentiary chances and the speed limit say 45. You doing 60. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, you want to whoop that nigga ass. But they don't say that no more. It's on purpose. This had nothing to do with black folks. This is the new world order, that demonic shit. It's the devil. It's, they trying to take over the whole world. Not just black folks. The thing is, they using some dumb black folks to try to accomplish their goal. The devil is, but the devil's stupid. Like I said, this shit been, it's already failed. It's just, you know, it just takes time. Just gotta be, and really, like I said, I didn't even expect what I got three weeks ago. I would, I was expecting, I was happy as hell that I was gonna, uh, it was gonna take two years, but I was, you can see that, that would've been a goal. Okay, uh, two years, I'll be done, but at least I'm started, this and that, I could pay, as a matter of fact, I probably could pay it out way faster. So I'm like, shit, that was, that would, that was definitely would've been a victory. But shit, I went in there, this motherfucker threw it all out right then, just here, blip, it's over, blip, 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 blip. done, blip, 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 white judge, over, like, <laughs> oh shit. Right, you know what I'm saying. So it, 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 it could be, like I said, maybe the program. Like I said, I always been, I've been saying in my videos. If you watch some of my other videos, old older ones from years ago, I've been saying I think they've been they've been infiltrated. It just takes time. Like in the movie, it does because they got to get everybody. They got to get all the bad people. They got to get all the people that's, you know, kind of hostages. Maybe people like me. They they releasing, you know, they telling these people these. That when it was the crooked, corrupt people in charge, so they right and wrong, and, you know, they had me go down there, and the judge threw it out. But you know, that was that. I might even start reading my comments again. I ain't even, I, I don't even read the comments, cause I, you know, I, I, I might even, cause it, it'll waste time, cause I'll, hours. I make since I don't have a big channel, you know, I barely got. <laughs> I would, I would take the time to respond. You know, to to the comments, cause they were they they, they were in my comments. They they probably still are. They were talking shit. 
you know, saying, you know, it's, it's nobody that, you know, I, I live by. Like in my other apartment, you know, they would leave comments and shit. It, it was them, you know. They would leave comments, but, and I would answer, you know, I would get angry and answer, but it's like, so that just, that's why I didn't even, I don't even read comments. So some of y'all actually leave real comments, because some people would leave uh, comments and tips about uh, the COINTEL, COINTEL Pro and all that, the federal program they use to spy on us, and, you know, look this up and look that up, but... I haven't been able to look it up, because like I said, if I look it up, I'm going to end up wasting time all day, you know, making videos in response to comments. But, so I'm like, I can't do that. You know, I, I can't read the comments from y'all. <laughs> but I might start reading them again. Like I said, these videos might turn into just traveling videos. My channel might turn into a fucking black man in Japan video. You know, like them videos <laughs> pretty soon. Because I think the whole program is over. You know, but like I said, it's still some, you know, you got some diehards who just can't give up. But shit, I'm running out of memory. I got to delete some more videos and post these. Also, eat some Razor Brand. You know, I'm back on my cereal now. Eat some Razor Brand. <laughs>